My name is Gina Hill and I'm the principal of Dell City High School. I would like to welcome you to our virtual commencement program for the class of 2020. I would also like to say a special thank you to our superintendent, Dr. Rick Cobb, our board members, Lee Reporter, President, Jimmy Nolan, Clerk, Nathan McGuire, member, Julian Biggers, member, and Dr. Sylvia Kirk, member. Thank you for the support you give the schools. Now I would like to present to you the senior class president, Ms. Aaliyah Dean. Good morning. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to welcome faculty, alumni, friends, family, and distinguished guests to the commencement ceremony of Dale City High School. We made it. After four long but memorable years, we made it. I feel like we never took the saying, high school will go by fast, seriously enough. Well, at least I did. I'm still in awe that I'm standing before you all now presenting a speech on our departure. We have to finally sit here and say to ourselves, it's a wrap. No more waking up and making it to school by 740. No more trying to avoid hall sweeps. No more Friday night lights. No more crazy pep rallies. No more take state. No more student council. No more wild week, which means no more powder puff, which I know hurts Ray and Micah the most. And last but not least, no more Jones weight room. Commitment, discipline, pride, toughness, and effort. I'll probably never forget those five words, mainly because he hit us with a pop quiz every day. Those words shaped a lot of us in many different ways, whether you played sports or not. Dale City has brought me great opportunities and many honors, but one that I will forever be grateful for is the basketball program. Both the girls and boys coaches, past and present, have taught me many lessons, more than just what to do with the basketball, but they taught me how to carry myself when times are unfair and to control what I can control. With the pandemic going on now, those wise words apply to our situation. With the lessons they taught me, I made sure I would share those same lessons to classmates when they feel like giving up or feel things aren't going in their favor. And the cycle just continues from one classmate to another and you can just see the growth in our class compared to freshman year or even years beyond that. Dale City High School is more than what people paint us to be. We're a family, a very diverse family at that. Whether you were part of an organization or not, you could always see the connection and love we have for each other. Of course, we bumped heads and stressed each other out, but that's what all families do. In the end, it just makes them stronger. Just like how the pandemic we had just made all of 2020 stronger. We may have lost a little fun here and there, like our spring break, our senior trip, and our senior week, but hopefully we can plan all of that this summer. But after all that fun, we're gonna sit and realize the times in high school is all over. We're gonna to have to face the real world and handle business. All of those lessons and lectures our teachers and parents gave us about the real world, we now have to take into consideration. Some of us have experienced the real world as teens in high school, but it's only going to get more challenging, but always strive for more even when times get hard. Like the late great Nipsey Hussle said, the game is gonna test you, never fall. Stay 10 toes down, it's not on you, it's in you. And what's in you, they can't take away from you. 
At this time, it is my privilege to introduce some very outstanding young men and women, the 24 valedictorians of the class of 2020. These students have maintained a 4.0 or higher cumulative weighted grade point average during their high school years. We calculate valedictorian status at the end of the third nine weeks of the senior year. Nicole Simpson. Andrea Alton. Isabel Morales. Nicole Tomko. Abigail Littleford. Jasmine Cooper. Jennifer Wynn. Elizabeth Tomko. Ajene Bailey. Brianna Polk. Haley Mars. Molly Flanagan. Jemiah Johnson. Emily Robar. Mason Hamilton. Daniel Lopez Esparza. Brian McKittrick. Raymond Gordon. Maria Everett. Samaria Dawkins. Aaliyah Dean. Jalinta McNeil. Randy Brown. At this time, I'd like to introduce our top three valedictorians as they provide a glimpse into the past, present, and future. Please welcome Miss Isabel Morales. Let me start off congratulating the class of 2020. These past four years have been long, but here we are. It seemed only yesterday we were freshmen, looking up to the upperclassmen and hurrying to our next class, but we're here graduating. It seemed like this day would never come, yet we can't help but look at our times in high school. We would measure by class periods, counting those days until the next break, measuring our time by semesters until the day we became seniors. So instead of measuring by class periods and semesters, we should measure by all the good times we had. Like all the football games, we would go even though it was cold, and we got to leave this year saying how we're the class to be in Mill City High School. And all the wild weeks, even though we couldn't fully enjoy this year's wild week, they all will be times we'll remember like the black light show. Especially since we didn't have an auditorium this year, we still managed to have a fun black light show, and even pep assemblies in our own auditorium. And the drama was still able to create and perform an amazing play just in our tiny form. I know I will always remember my time in orchestra. All the friendships, the concerts, and the out-of-state trips, just the journey we had together. Whether you participated in school activities from choir to your book, the memories you created individually, I hope you can cherish. Memories that you'll be filled with enjoyment and have stories to tell others. The past is something we should hold on to. All the lessons learned from our teachers and fellow classmates. Like Jennifer Anderson said, there's no regrets in life, just life lessons. High school was a time to make mistakes, but to grow on them. I want you to look back on your experience, just beginning freshman year to now. We recently got our freshman letters, and it was the goal you wanted to have for yourself to reach by senior year. Personally, my goal was just to be sociable, to be able to speak in front of a crowd without fear. And throughout my four years, I've managed to play in front of an audience on stage, give presentations, and even give the graduation speech as today. Either it's physically or mentally, we've all grown these four years. We've matured into adults whose ambition is ready for this next step. We've never thought we'd end the year like this, but yet what we still have in common with the other classes is having a home at Dell City High School. Wherever your future holds, I want you to look back on your time and be proud to be the Eagle. I'll just end congratulating class of 2020. We did it. And I would like to introduce 
The speaker of the present speech, Nicole Simpson. Hello, teachers, students, family, and members of Dell City High. My name is Nicole Simpson, and I am honored to be one of the few representing the graduating class of 2020. First, I would like to thank everyone who joined us today to celebrate this great achievement. We are finally here in the pivotal moment of our high school journey. The road to get here was not easy, and the truth is, from here, it will not get any easier. But with a positive mindset and hard work, anything is possible. Remember, the mind is powerful, and how you choose to use it will affect you in a powerful way. If you choose only to feed your mind negativity and berate yourself, this will only deteriorate your self-esteem and ability to achieve greatness. Do not be your own worst enemy. Besides, there are many people in the world who can fulfill that role for you. They're just waiting for any chance to tear you down, but don't give them that satisfaction. Love yourself because no one can do it for you. Live your life today and every day with a sense of purpose. Be the light in the darkness. Chase after your dreams each and every day until they become a reality. Don't get discouraged when the road gets tough. Giving up should never be an option. Even if you feel like the whole world is against you, keep your head up high, keep fighting. Trying is better than doing nothing at all. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so at least make an effort to shoot the ball and then keep shooting till you make the basket. Also, don't forget to cherish the moment. Don't miss the opportunities in front of you because you're stuck dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. You only get one life, so live it to the fullest. Take time to appreciate what's surrounding you. All we have now is the present moment. Once the moment is gone, you can never get it back. So live life without regrets. Take advantage of every moment. Don't let life pass you by. Be proactive. Every day, you have the chance to control your narrative, your story. Don't let others define who you are and establish what you can and cannot achieve. Prove them wrong and reach for the stars. The sky's the limit. But hey, what do I know, right? I'm just a 17-year-old girl who is probably one of the quietest, shyest girls in your classroom and the fastest to walk the hallways during passing periods. To be honest, I never thought in a million years that I'd be giving the speech before you today. In the past, I doubted myself constantly, and I was terrified of failing that I would never do anything outside my comfort zone. I let my fears cripple me and chased after a false idea of perfection. But over the years, I learned to face my fears and challenge myself so that I could tell you that it is possible to achieve your dreams. As long as you stay focused and work really hard towards it. I mean, yeah, there were times when I just wanted to give up, but I know if I did, I would have missed out on a lot of opportunities and experiences that strengthened me and made me better as a person. Failure is a part of life. So many things can knock you face down to the ground, so why not get back up? Try again until you reach the finish line. The class of 2020, I know you have what it takes to succeed. You have faced many obstacles, adversity, and sacrificed a lot just to get here. You made it this far, so keep going. You got this. And even though our high school journey has come to an end, a new beginning emerges for the, us. We are the Dell City Eagles. We are prepared to take on any challenge that comes our way and soar to new heights of success never seen before. Thank you. And now I will be presenting Molly, who will be giving our future speech. Good morning, class of 2020. I would like to congratulate each of you for making it to this point. We have finally made it to graduation. I also would like to thank the administration team for working so hard and making a graduation still possible under these less than optimal circumstances. While I know the end of our senior year has been interrupted by a global pandemic, I know we will come out the other end stronger. In these adverse conditions, we have lost the chance to make a few final memories together and to close this chapter in our lives in an anticipated and scheduled way. However, we have learned. And what we have learned is to cherish the future moments that we will have and not take them for granted because we cannot predict nor always control what happens in the future. Our lives are now forever changed in how we choose to learn life's lessons. Our lives are shaped not just by a devastating global pandemic, but from everything we have learned over the last four years. Today we go into a world where the normal routine is no longer what it was and can at a moment change for all of humanity. Many of us will face our own hardships later in life in whatever form they may take, but what I know is that each of you have the power to persevere and push through them. Our future is shaped by our past and what we choose for our own future. Everything happens as a result of our decisions and our environment. Any hardships that may come to you during your life will help you grow and evolve into your own person. Remember that there will always be people around you who are cheering you on 
and wants to see you succeed. Our whole lives we have been asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Where do you plan on going to college? What is your plan for after high school? I used to think I had eternity to wait until graduation and figure out the answers to these questions, but here we stand. Some of us still waiting to figure out who we are and trying to answer the questions. As we are now becoming adults, we will have to come up with some answers soon. The past four years of high school has prepared us for our life ahead. Each of us are a product of our environment and experiences. While most of us may not use something like trigonometry every day, we will often use skills like being able to work as a team and be a critical thinker. We are also taught how to learn. After we leave high school, I hope we each continue to learn and teach ourselves new things which we will pass on to future generations. Each of us learns in a different way and there are many paths for us to choose. Each of us must find our own definition of what success is and success can take many forms. Class of 2020, our future starts now. We inherit the present, but the future is ours to create and we get to decide how to shape our future and we how we want to live the future. Some of us are on our way to begin college, some have chosen military service, and others will be going straight to the workforce. No matter what our choice, I know each one of you, the class of 2020, will go on to do great things and succeed. I look forward to seeing what everyone will do, and I hope each of you go on to inspire others in your lives as I have been inspired by so many of you. While each of us venture down our own separate paths today and start our lives, we will always have the memories we created together. I'm excited to see what the next chapter of our lives will hold. To the class of 2020, I challenge you to build a better future for yourselves, for your families, and for humanity. And now, I would like to introduce Dr. Cobb, Superintendent of Middle Schools. Good morning, Eagles. When your senior year began last fall, I'm pretty sure this isn't how you saw it going. We missed school days in August because of storm damage in our community. We had snow days in February. And then on March 12th, it seemed as if our world had quit turning. As much change as we've endured since then, the world actually hasn't quit turning. Though it has seemed at times as if days and hours lack meaning, we still have, for the most part, risen with the sun and gone to bed after it sets. Our response to living in a global pandemic has ranged the gamut of emotions. In conversations with people close to me and throughout social media, I have seen reactions that are silly and serious, fearful and hopeful, certain and dubious, frustrated and appreciative. The best reactions, the ones that click the most with me at least, are the ones that show empathy. In the simplest terms possible, empathy is the ability to see the world through the experiences and perceptions of other people, trying to understand what other people see and feel. While I can never fully understand what another person is dealing with in life, I can seek understanding of how significant events in your life have shaped you, how your life's experiences affect the way you interact with the world around you. Empathy fuels the best moments in literature, in sports, in film, and in music. Watching a team win a championship or lose one is an emotional journey. TV producers are usually pretty good about framing both sides of this experience in a way that tugs at us. A great book, song, and movie can do the same thing. Empathy is the main ingredient in character development and artistic engagement. Empathy also helps us frame history. Whether we are discussing the Civil War or the Civil Rights Movement, we need to know more than timelines and simple biographies. We need to understand the motivations behind the individuals and groups who shape public policy and the impacts of those decisions on other individuals and groups. Having empathy doesn't mean that we can feel what other people have felt. It just means that we seek to understand. History, of course, doesn't simply happen in the past. We're living it right now. I'm trying to understand what 14,000 students are feeling, even though I know I can't. It's a slurry of 14,000 different pinpoints plus their families, plus the communities in which we live. The quickest lesson I've learned in this historical moment is that we're all experiencing it differently. Our healthcare professionals and first responders have carried on, on with their work and they've had to find another gear. Your teachers have continued teaching, all the while proving to be fast and flexible learners themselves. We've also all been impacted by the loss around us. The toll of this moment is immeasurable. This is the time of year when I usually look out over hundreds of graduates and tell you that where you go from here, the workforce, the military, college, families, is up to you. And it is, it really still is. But wherever you go and whatever you do, I implore you to begin your journey with empathy. Just as there is no singular correct way to handle triumph, there's also no singular correct way for handling loss. 
We all respond differently. We're wired differently. We've been through different challenges in life. When you come across someone else on a different journey or maybe on a different pathway to the same destination, I hope you'll seek first to understand and choose to be kind even when understanding is difficult. You're all graduating high school today and some of you are excited because you made it this far. Some of you are excited for what comes next. You're both right. And if you're full of dueling emotions right now that you can't seem to reconcile, that's right too. Congratulations, seniors. We're all proud of you. Dr. Cobb, Mr. Porter, members of the board, I certify that these seniors have met the requirements of the Oklahoma State Department of Education and the Middale Board of Education and may receive their diplomas. Thank you. Ashley Acoff. Ashley Rojas, Kia Alexander, Dominique Alexander, Tristan Ali, Andrea Alton, David Armanderas. Tracy Arthur, Mackenzie Atkinson, Khalil Bagby, Joshua Bagby, Awana Bailey, Hilton Baker. Braden Barler, Charles Barnett, Luke Barton, Alyssa Beasley, Sean Berry, Christopher Bird, Latrell Bazell, Janae Bledsoe, Brandon Boone, Manazio Bowen, Elkanah Boyce, Nicholas Boyles, Karay Brannon, Corey Brannon, Kyle Bratcher, Ariana Braxton, Tara Britt, Gabrielle Brown, Randy Brown, Katrina Broyles, Brianna Butler, Kriana Butler, Willie Caleb, Cavantes Carr, Destiny Champlin, Devin Cheadle, Naomi Clayton Cribs, Cherie Cobb, Decoria Coleman, Jasmine Cooper, Ramon Cooper, Antoine Cox, Nathaniel Cox, Kaylin Craig, DeAsia Crutchfield, DeMontreal Crutchfield, Thomasine Dale, Andrea DeCogui, 
Kobe Davis, Shania Davis, Alaya Dean, Faith Dean, John Dean, Autumn Dennis, Tyrone Denton, Andy Doe, Samaria Dawkins, Destiny Dolph, Reginald Dotson, Janae Downey, Macy Drake, Joshua Drennan, Juliet Dunlap, Janaza Easley, Tamia Easley, Zashana Easley, Rebecca Elliott, Elise Ellis, Michael Ellis, Franklin Elm, Megan Escueda, Maria Everett, Michael Fenwick, Jacoby Finney, Molly Flanagan, Elena Flores, Nichelle Fowler, Cody Franks, Anthony Frazier, Lance Freeman, Jay Fuentes, Jessica Fugate, Delvin Gaines, Gage Galbraith, Quinlan Ganther, Aaliyah Garcia, Julie Glisson, Davin Goff, Alexandria Goldsberry, Alaya Gomez, Stephen Gonzalez, Nayam Gonzalez Meja, Damari Gooden, Nathaniel Goodlow, Raymond Gordon, Austin Gazum, Isaac Granham, Adrian Greenwood, Julian Greenwood, Jacob Griffith, Lucas Grimm, Devon Gunn, Orion Hall, Cortland Hamer, Alexis Hamilton, Mason Hamilton, Christopher Harpool, Cameron Harris, Sydney Harrison, Nathaniel Hawkins, 
Makaira Henderson, John Hendricks, Nathaniel Henry, Kylie Hickerson, Gabrielle Hightower, Nakia Hill, Ajanae Hines, Unique Holmes, Anthony Holmes, Amaya Hooks, Eliza Houston, Deshaun Howe, Amelia Hughes, Michael Hughes, Donnie Hurd, Karina Insko, Charles Jackson, Traylon Jackson, James Jefferson, Emmanuel Johnson, Jemiah Johnson, Sarah Kelton, Haley Kirby, Lashanti Knight, Cameron Koshaway, Gabrielle Kraft, Hunter Larson, Jonathan Lawrence, Ali Lewis, Azure Lewis, Keithon Lewis, Martina Lewis, Montesi Lewis, Shamika Lewis, Colin Lysinger, Katray Lindsay, Rain Lindley, Tawan Lindsay, Abigail Littleford, Daniel Lopez Esparza, Liani Laura, Mackenzie Love, Audia Mack, Jared D. Maiden, Jared V. Maiden, Jacob Malega, Alberto Messinas, Haley Mars, Heaven Martin, Amari Martin, Skylar Martin, Ashani Mathis, Micah Maiden, Ray Maytubby, Dana McCrary. Austin McCurry, Albany McKee, Brian McKittrick, Jalitha McNeil, Trenton Messer, Derek Miller, Isabel Morales, 
Trice Mitchell, Cameron Monfaird, Carlos Moore, Colton Moore, Picola Moore, Jada Mosley, Keshawn Murray Jr. Ariana Navarro Selena Navarro Jack Negretti Louis Negron Otero Michael Negron Otero Lorenzo Nelson Rory Nelson Tyrus Newman Jennifer Wynn Tammy Wynn Bailey Nicholson Zahazen Norwood Anaya Ochoa Dawkins Shariah Ogans Delia O'Neill Carmen Osterwin Tanea Owens Orban Owens Jr. Devon Palms Joden Parker Victoria Parrish Imani Patterson Janae Peck Braylon Penn Edgar Perez Isaiah Perry Kania Petty Tamara Phillips Jenny Pingren Shayana Pittman Brianna Polk Kyra Pratt Hannah Price Nicholas Price Savion Pritchett Laverius Rainey Kiara Ramsey Amanda Ray Melinda Ray Tyrese Reeves Isabella Rinder Ronan Richardson Emily Robar Zaria Roberts Joy Robinson Mason Robinson Ethan Rogers Mario Rodriguez Ashanti Rogers Romanuel Rogers Sherry Root Cheyenne Rose Brianna Ross Malachi Rowan Michael Russell 
Jessica Salmon. Priscilla Sam. Braden Schoolcraft. Alexia Schooler. Treshawn Scott. Darius Shanks II. Kaylee Shaver. Ashante Shells. Amar Shepherd. Isaiah Shepherd. Michael Simmons. Nicole Simpson. Mathon Sapilli. Carissa Smith. Nathaniel Smith. Aria Smithers. Armarion Solomon. Abdil Sostre. Tristan Spivey. Noah Stevens. Jonathan Stewart. Lorelei Still. Haley Stubblefield. Ariana Swindell. Alyssa Sismak. Amber Sismak. Joshua Tabor. Laura Tate. Jamie Taylor. Leanna Taylor. Emmanuel Tarazas, Makaya Terry, Nakaya Theri, Jazalyn Thomas, Jeremiah Thomas, Quincy Thompson, Miata. Thompson, Mackenzie Todd, Montrell Tolbert, Elizabeth Tomko, Nicole Tomko, Aaron Toves, David Tristan. Jasmine Valdez. Martin Varela Cordova. Austin Vasquez. Ricardo Vasquez. Alejandro Venegas. Arisma Vergara. Angelique Wagner, Ethan Walters, Xavier Walton, Christopher Ward, Winter Ware, Zoe Washington. Mario Watson, Jessica Wheatley, Gabriel Whitehead, Keon Wiley, Andrew Wilkerson, Brianna Williams, Carolyn Williams, 
Daniel Williams. Deja Williams. Damarian Williams. Joaquin Williams. Kyron Williams. Paul Williams. Danielle Willis. Lauren Wilson. Ryan Wilson. Reagan Wixom. Salissa Woodford. Dejanae Wortham. Brianna Zachary. Carson Zapata. Kaylin Zone. 